As tensions on the Russia and Ukraine border escalate, some Western powers, including the US and Britain, are considering personal sanctions on President Vladimir Putin if Moscow invades its neighbor. But what would that mean for Putin? Personal sanctions typically mean restrictions or freezes on foreign assets and travel bans. Imposing such measures on Putin would likely be seen by Russia as extremely hostile. What form could those sanctions take? Reuters Moscow bureau chief Andrew Osborne says Russia has been clear that these kinds of restrictions would effectively cut ties with whichever country imposed them. It would be very difficult to target uh, Mr Putin's uh, personal wealth. Uh, because, as the Kremlin said today, uh, officially speaking, he's not allowed to have any uh, bank accounts or assets uh, overseas. Uh, that's a, a rule in Russia. So uh, the Kremlin says, you know, it would be impossible to, uh, to hurt Mr. Putin in that way. The other kind of sanction that they could go for, something which has been done in the past by uh, both the United States and the European Union, would be some kind of travel ban. Um, that would restrict Mr. Putin's movements to attend uh, international events. Again, that would be an extraordinary step. And Russia has been very clear that uh, you know, it would see this uh, very seriously. Like some other Russian officials, Putin is legally required to disclose his income and assets. According to his most recent official report, the Kremlin leader earned just shy of 10 million rubles. That's just over $126,000 in 2020. He also owns an apartment of around 829 square feet, two luxury Soviet Union-era sports cars, an off-road vehicle and a trailer. The Kremlin also says Putin has access to a garage and a second large apartment. It's hard to... Uh accurately estimate Mr. Putin's uh, wealth. There are, of course, official declarations that he has made in the past which have set out uh, what assets he owns, uh, what property, uh, vehicles, how much money he has in his Russian bank account. Uh, critics say, of course, that uh, this, these official declarations really are only the tip of the iceberg and that, in fact, um, that Mr. Putin is fabulously wealthy um, and has properties uh, you know, all abroad in many different places and is one of the richest, richest men in the world. Putin and the Kremlin have denied allegations that he has huge amounts of wealth abroad, saying that they are without any foundation. Putin's most prominent domestic opponent, Alexei Navalny, who is currently in jail, is one of those who has alleged that the Kremlin leader's wealth is considerably larger. He believes Putin has an opulent palace near the Black Sea coast, and other critics have also said that Putin's wealth is held by a circle of loyal Russian business people on his behalf. The Kremlin denies all of these claims. The reality is that, in practice, sanctions might not change much for Russia's president. The Kremlin's veteran spokesperson, Dmitry Peskov, has said restrictions would not actually hurt Putin personally and that because his assets are in Russia, they're out of reach. He added that Putin's salary income is also already under sanctions. Essentially, the impact of any personal restrictions would depend on proving the existence of any further wealth or seriously hitting the president's freedom of movement.